Hello out there subscribers and friends. This is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. I thought I'd do a uh, kind of a show and tell here on my first aid kit. Uh, this is my first aid to go bag. And as you see, this is an Eddie Bauer bag and this is like a diaper bag. Uh, for women with newborn babies and such. I ended up finding it at one of the stores and just happened to look it over real quick and saw it had all the pouches and all the dividers and everything in it and I thought it'd make a really good first aid bag and it wasn't that much. I think I got it at Target, something like that, Target. And it's got this uh, shoulder strap with a pad on it. It's a pretty nice pad. And it's attached uh, over here with some D-rings, but they're sewn in and sewn in real well to it and everything. And then the uh, handle grab right here, that's also sewn in with a square X pattern right there on both sides. And it opens up, and you just open it up like that and gain access to your other compartments in the inside. And I guess what I'll do is start over here on this end and show you what I've got in this little net bag. And it's got some sunblock, 30 plus. Some off skin tastic with aloe vera. I got some uh, hand sanitizer in there, good size squirt bottle. And then also Benadryl spray for uh, any kind of itching relief. Although I'm pretty lucky. Uh, all through the time I've been out in the woods and everything else and been running around, I've never gotten into poison ivy or sumac or anything like that, poison oak. If I have, I've never gotten uh, hurt by it. And I think I have gotten into it. I just don't think I'm allergic to it. Now, in this pouch back here, I've got an arm sling. I've got a little... Uh, this is like a, a strap-on deal uh, that you can put on your arm and everything or shoulder or wherever. And you can put hot packs and cold packs in it. And I've also got the SAM splint. Now, this is a pretty good size SAM splint here. I've also got a little Velcro deal here that you can take and wrap around your arm or you know, put a bandage down, wrap this around the bandage, and hold it in place. So, that's a pretty nice thing to have in there. And it all packs away pretty easily. There's not much of a problem in there. And that's got a Velcro, as you can see, it's got a Velcro attachment that keeps it closed. Now on this into the bag. I've got a little pouch down here that I've just got some matches in in one of these containers. I've probably got several matches. These are the waterproof, stormproof ones. The real big lighting ones. So I just keep a few of them in there just in case. Never can have too much of one thing and not enough of it. Then the front pouches here this main pouch has got a little zipper deal here and I've got an illustrated guide to life-threatening emergencies although I don't go by that that much uh, my mom used to be a registered nurse so <laughs> I picked up quite a bit from her as I was growing up on different things and this zipper pouch right here I've got on this little cord right here it's also got a a little snap you can snap other stuff into it as you can see I've got different sizes of safety pins I kind of organize this to where the main things I need are on the outside the other stuff the secondary stuff for doing 
other bigger things are on the inside it's harder to get to them cleaning bag this has got all kinds of cleaning stuff in it as you can see the soap uh, hmm I wonder where I got that soap from <laughs> but it's got some ivory soap in there it's also got some other cleaning some Bened Benadryl pack uh, Benadryl no, I'm saying that wrong I'm sure but uh, got a bunch of cleaning stuff in here triangle bandage some bedidine that's what I was trying to say some skin cleanser there and then got to have a scrub brush so and also inside there's a little pouch that's way down in here and it carries my wilderness and travel med uh, medicine book which that's a pretty good little book uh, I don't know if you've ever checked it out or not but it it's not bad then also got some paperwork here on like keeping track of a person's injuries which is real good to have if you have somebody that's injured write it all down that way you've got a running track of what's going on now also in that pouch I had this which is a list of everything that's in this bag and I'm gonna see if I can't put it up to a website and put a link on the video so that way you can see this in the PDF format list everything that's in here list the description of it list the category it's in what compartment I've got it in whether it be the main pouch the zipper part compartment or whatever and how many I've got of each item and that puppy is one two three pages long so that'll hopefully like I say be put up to a website I found that I can link you to and you can see it get all this back in here then we'll move on to the tool compartment and let you see it now this is the tool compartment it's where I keep all my tools uh, scissors everything medical that's a tool pretty much pelican light you can either hold your hand on it and button it or you can lock it on and then do what you need to and then turn it back off and that runs on AAA batteries that's a real good one for like checking the uh, irises on eyes seeing uh, whether they react or not there's your uh, safety scissors now there's one thermometer I got rectal and I've also got oral thermometer that way if you got somebody that's injured and you need to get their temperature unfortunately that's going to be the only way to get it <laughs> I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.